Hello everybody, I spent most of last week installing software, doing all updates and things like this uh, while didn't touching any hardware components and today I would like to wrap things up, put all wiring, uh, cable management, whatever possible to do in this situation. We also need to flush the system and put a uh, final coolant in uh, with a little bit additive so we can run for about maybe like 9-12 months without any maintenance and that's the plan today i'm, I'm really trying to uh, complete this build today and um, will not leave office until i'm done it's full saturday for me so let's try to see if we can achieve our target all right i start with draining the system get rid of my distilled water it had nothing in it and um, i will replace it with my coolant that i actually will using uh, in my system for next uh, whatever about a year or so so what we need to do is uh, I have this um, quick disconnect that I'm using on the lowest point of the, my build so the water can escape easily and um, we will need to open uh, the stop plug and it allows more air in so the system expected to flush down just on its own. If not, we'll see what we can do. All right, so let's, uh, let, let's start going. Put it in a bucket, get ready. You can see basically nothing happens um, because the loop uh, has so many turns and everything. So even the fact we're trying to let the liquid out, it doesn't really go, but but now, as soon as I start turning, you can hear, right? Now I start getting some liquid going out. Okay, let's wait. I had about one liter, so I should expect almost full bottle. So if we get as much as this here, yeah, it should be good enough. I'll get out of cam. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Could be probably more interesting to look on the other side, but you know, guys, um, it's more convenient for me to do it this way. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Well, it's almost empty with the exception of a little bit left in, in, the, in my reservoir and also I'm actually I know you always laugh at me when I tilt the case quite often this is the way to go because we have a, this level of water trapped in the day Uh, where's my soaking mat? Okay, I did a little bit of enhancement here because the bucket wasn't too stable, so it was awkward for me to keep it in my hand all the time and do uh, any other stuff. So, you know, I put it in uh, my bottle that I'm draining. It just uh, an extra bucket so nothing gets spilled and stuff like this. So, um, okay, so we still have a little bit of a liquid trapped uh, in the radiator, so to get rid of it, we still need to tilt the case. Oh, you can see, but I see a lot of water going on right now in this direction. You probably can see water coming out. Um, I know you all like 
laugh every time I'm saying like tilt your case or always wait like a ton or whatever. Well, if you cannot do it, don't do it. But if you can, it's a little bit easier to get extra liquids that get trapped in your system. All right? I'm not the fittest guy in the world, but I can tilt his last case, as you can see. So, all right. So what else we have here? Um, still half a bottle, so we need a little bit more. Uh, things get, get, get rid of. I don't think I have much left in the radiator because when I tilt it, nothing coming out. So the rod is empty. Okay, that's good news. So the rest that get trapped is probably in this reservoir. I still see the half, the reservoir full. So what I will do, if you remember, I had that uh, quick disconnect attached to. Okay, I'll show. I have a quick disconnect. Right here. Quick disconnect. So if I try to press it out, I'm pretty sure liquid level goes down a little bit better. You can you see? I already draining into my bucket at my bottle, but that's basically what we need to do. Okay. And the clocks, so I need actually to tilt opposite way to get things into the reservoir. Wow, you can see it's not all glory. I think like this, but, um, and I open my valve. Wow, that's pretty much it. If I have left anything, that would be really much the liquid. So, what we need to do is I uh, replaced a couple components that we discussed the last time and those are leaking rotary on the back because of the it was used one with the o-ring which wear off um, I need to replace a couple stop plugs the ones I forgot so I put the like uh, crystal uh, type in but I want black and uh, well that's it and we fill it back let me take care about that bad o-ring I have here Still have to disconnect tubing because it's just too awkward to work on this assembly. Oh. Oh. Now with all these fan cables going through the grommet, things are a little bit tighter than it they used to be. So, what we need to do is disconnect this stuff. Okay. And then one more. Just want to replace all used parts I have. And this is a both this extender and um, this rotor. Yeah, it was very well, pretty badly. Okay. It's some sort of a little screwdriver. And basically, if, if you can't really tell, but this O-ring is, um, is quite quite wear off. So my advice to you every time you reuse your fittings or you just uh, after some quiet of the use you um, change thing or have to connect disconnect them you know it's cost you a few cents to put a new o-ring and uh, give you a little bit peace of mind Okay, this one didn't leak, but I don't want to take any chances because this will be my final.
Assembly, hopefully. Okay. Okay, let's get rid of this draining port at this point. Okay, so everything was rock solid here, so what we need to do is put this back and um, put flow meter back. So what we have here, we go to the radiator. So make sure I, I do right. Yeah. Right orientation for full meter, otherwise it will be basically showing nothing. Yeah, error here. This way and go down. Okay. And um, this part. People continue to ask me if it's enough or it's not enough for the. Uh, tightening fitting like like power of your hands from my experience it's enough because people saying oh give it quarter turn with the range and everything with new fittings i never had any problems on the stuff it's leaked when it's either old stuff like we have right here or i simply forget to put any fitting at all which happens too, as we know. Um, yeah, okay. It's getting, getting a little bit tight now because of the wires. Ah, no, I still can do it. With. It was perfectly fine without fan wires, but with fan wires. Not easy to put fittings through anymore. Okay. So up. Okay, cool. So that part we addressed. We have our flow meter, our sensor, and that will be going to aqua iron which we didn't uh, configure yet but that I will leave for later because we all know it's not an easy task to do okay now so we're going bits power put bits power stop plug here and um, we have a couple stop plugs here and there um i think i had this arrange arrange tool somewhere find the um, range supplied with heat killer. All right. Number one. And um, <coughs> what my bit power. And again, I get rid of um, rid of green o-ring which is not really what I need in my situation rather have either blue or black black is the best okay this first hole get covered and um, just in case we still get a little bit leakage some trapped liquid No. Yeah. 
couple drops, but not, not really nothing. Fine. All we need to do is um, refill the system back. All right. Process is well established. We did it last time, so I'm um, just um, I'll start working. The only comment I'd like to make. So what I like to use is um, TFC clear UV liquid, which is transparent, which is basically what um, I I want to have. But I also have want to have option that the liquid can go a little bit bluish uh, if I want to in the dark okay so so that's what we're going to do I already have everything ready let's get a little bit diluted with distilled water but it doesn't really matter and uh, the procedure again we have our uh, pump connected to external power supply with the on off switch so it don't work on a live system even although we're feeling second time and it's uh, basically pretty much safe at this point because everything was tested. But nevertheless, in case of any potential additional accident, we don't want um, don't want any 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 spillage or anything like this on your components. You can see that the uh, liquid is um, mixing with distilled water, so it's, uh, you can see that they have a different, oops, 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 different type of weight. Basically, I'm just trying to make sure that um, I have um, reservoir, reservoir more or less full. And that will allow me to push liquid a little bit up and push air out. And after a couple attempts like this, yeah, now it's full. So, pushing liquid into the system and bubbles go through here you go as you can see the reservoir went almost empty so now I'll just repeat the process you will experience a lot of bubbles in the beginning and those bubbles will make a noise as usual But this is a kind of normal and noise will will go down when your system as you can see now because the computer is half empty the liquid goes kind of back and forth when we remove the pressure Generally speaking, you try to avoid pump like running empty. Uh, you can hear the noise goes up as soon as it happens. Why? Because um, it will add additional bubbles in the system. It will increase time that required for the system to get bleeded. Now we're getting really close to have complete loop filled up. Let me check on the back, just in case. Yeah, now it's all clean. Now leaking from that spot I had.
Okay, now we achieve the point when the system is um, in a complete loop. We need to add liquid so the reservoir is full. Now recycling power will help with um, getting extra bubbles out. Let's get trapped. Actually it's filled up pretty good this time. Almost have nothing no additional air trapped anywhere what we need to do is maybe to tilt the case as usual just a little bit mm, what i want to do is this way and here you go start getting more stuff coming out of the radiator You can see the bubbles going through. But it's really minor, we get a little bit of liquid goes down through the tube, but that's pretty much it. Okay. I might need to top it a little bit later, but this was rather uneventful type of fill up. Also, it's a little bit easy to fill up with um, glycol-based liquids such as Phaser 1 and uh, or if you use antifreeze as some other people do because uh, it actually makes less bubbles than distilled pure distilled water. So the system a little bit easier to fill up. Okay. That's done. Our next step, uh, finish out with um, cable wiring. Also, I need to put one additional component here. I want to have this uh, fan controller um, control those fans on that cool off my rate card and the front intake fan which is kind of not essential type of uh, fans and the fans from the radiator I want to control through my aqua iron so uh, let me reposition things and uh, we'll continue to work okay I didn't show it but I did a couple improvements while the cam was off um, I basically screw in this controller which I using for at this time for my radiators and uh, for those two fans and front fan um, and later when I will be able to figure out how aqua air works with all this aqua adjusts that I have in the front of the case I will move my fans from radiator push pull to um, aqua air control and I keep running those um, cooling fans for my rate and for intake of this controller so I just didn't want to show all this uh, boring process of putting it into the bay but it, right now it's right there. I also uh, slipped quickly a cable that running from this uh, flow meter because it was yellow and was a little bit um, too noticeable. You can see the amount of cables going through the system. It's quite enormous. Um, I'm not a like big uh, pro when it goes to the cables, to be honest. Um, I try to tackle them and uh, make them look nice, uh, but there are certain limits that I can do. So uh, one thing that I noticed, and I'd like to give you some sort of tip on that. Um, when I selected my power supply for the system, um, I took uh, AX850, right? Because it's, it's pretty much enough to power what I'm doing. Uh, but now looking back, I would rather be having a bigger power supply, not because I'm run out of the power, but because I'm simply, simply run out of connection. 
that everything on this power supply is maxed out all connections getting out of this and i have to use tons of splitters you know to run all the stuff if i would have um, ax um, 1200 then i'll have a little bit more connections of the power supply and it could be a little bit easier and less messy as you can see right now it's like pile of cables because i have a six hard drive eight extra hard drives and all this uh, sata is pretty neat because of the going from the controller but um like all things like uh, um <coughs> the rest of the stuff like pumps and lights and i didn't even put all lights i need it's, it's it's getting really really messy so um that's a little bit challenge for me so right now the plan is i'm trying to tackle cables uh, more or less um, like neat kind of way um, I also like to experiment with the lights a little bit, although I'm desperately out of connections. I'm already putting this um, um, power station from Bits Power, trying to you know to make it more splitters. But overall, it's a kind of tough situation. So, all right, let's see what we can do. Try to make it as not as messy as possible, and then we we'll put doors in, and uh, you know to see how things look assembled. Because we now actually saw the case with all side panels on which is, uh, I'm pretty sure will be look quite differently. All right, let's start working again. All right, this is the best that I can come up at this time. Still not sure where we'll put this um, power distribution unit. And, um, but nevertheless, um, I need to power up the system because um, I would like to figure out a few options for the lights. And for that reason, I actually, I need to see how it works in real life with the power and everything um okay i didn't have this panel in place for the longest time Let's try to figure out how to put it okay okay and it's hidden so it's less ugly but um and uh, let's put this side panel in place just to see that I can close it. Yeah, no problem. You know, sometimes you do a lot of work with uh, your wiring just to find out that you can't even close your side panel properly. just in a black box right um, I don't think I will do much with the front panel either no longer okay Try to see. Oh, wait. So lights might work. I need to close this part. per minute not too much I would expect more okay those fans don't even work ok 
Okay, only one is spinning. Uh, means second gets disconnected while I get some things from the ground. panels but at least I saw how it looks. Yep, one fan disconnected already while well, showing now I have two going Sun is pretty noisy fans as you can see um, but they produce enormous amount of flow I don't really need this is 3, 3100 that's how noisy it is but realistically I can go 1000 probably a bit something like this uh, 1200 kind of barely can hear anything also let's see okay I have only two fans working here either. Oh jeez. Get disconnected. It's badly. You can see one for sure. Now I have three working. Oh yeah, I see one more. One fan giving me a little bit trouble because um, didn't put it in the connector properly yeah now those are okay and this there okay more hunting for oh actually can be also two more. I was was so eager to tie up all this cable management that I'm pushing well crane. Okay, okay, okay. One more somewhere. Oh, actually. Yeah guys, you see, you connect all stuff, but you need to check, especially with all the splitters. No, no. And uh, let's get bleeding process. Regressing. Yeah, 
2.8 liters per minute. I would rather have a little bit boiled better than that, although I can't 100% um, trust uh, flow meter as a last truth, but I think it gives some idea. Well, I have a lot of turns, so yeah. I would expect more like 4 liters per minute for this configuration. But I uh, guess because of the total uh, height of the case and all these components, everything slowed down. Okay, alright. So, what I want to do is to see if I can add more lights here. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, just uh, add a little bit uh, glow to the, my fans. Put some aces. Uh, so an extra LED for reservoir and uh, well that should be good enough I also can change this to blue and uh, let's see how it looks with uh, another side panel visible anymore but it shows some glow inside and uh, also I don't have a glass yet we can get some idea what we can see and what we cannot see when it will be closed so you can see my controller all my glow stuff and uh, And that approximately it looks for that side. Right? Oh, I managed to step on on the power cable. Here you go! <laughs> Everything something. Anyways, um, so that's how things look. Oh. See my fancy modded and sleeved power cable right here. I just step on it. Anyways, um, I still need to add monitor and keyboard to run it properly. So. Well guys, I guess the next video I will do some sort of trailer and things like this uh, just to show the system um, up and running with all lights and uh, interesting point of view but other than that, well this was a long running project much longer than I expected but well that's it so this computer will replace my silent sniper which is my main rig at home right now and I will just, uh, you know load a little bit more software and most of the videos moving forward will be produced out of this particular machine i hope you enjoy the series and uh, well stay tuned for the final video well guys i decided to come up just for a second uh, for anybody who might be interested what uh, kind of temperatures uh, i'm getting stuff like this so it's not a overclock system or anything like this but um this uh, msi bios uh, on uh, you can see that uh, I have a uh, CPU temps uh, kind of running all over the place. For, it shows 33 and next moment it shows uh, like 42 but uh, nevertheless. So it's uh, kind of within a range that I would expect from it. And um, <coughs> I'm not even running uh, fans on the full speed uh, so I slow them down. So. Um, We'll see how we can tweak it on a later date, but uh, just for some rough idea where we are at the stock with two GPUs, all the RAM, um, motherboard and um, CPU block on with single quad, um, I'm getting pretty decent results. So I know that a lot of people are going total work to kill recently, but like realistically, all of some is still the same. The system could run on triple but with this couple extra components quad is totally adequate anything else might drop down your um, 
noise levels, but realistically it's uh, not mandatory at all. Okay, that's finally all I wanted to say for today. See you soon, guys.